welcome back. So I have a really fun video for you today. I have a review and tutorial video of this look using the Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette. I talked a lot about this in my recent Friday Favorites and Fooies because I have been loving it lately. It is just, it's an amazing palette. I, I can't say anything else. Um, you've got options for like a great everyday eye, like an earthy toned eye. Um, a blue smoky eye, dark smoky eyes with some of these darker colors, and that black there with sparkles in it. This sparkles, yeah. And then just fun in a hot pink shadow with Totally Fetch, adorable name, such a cute shadow. Um, it has like a duochrome-y kind of a look to it. It's beautiful. So um, let me swatch these for you really quick and let you know my thoughts on them. So first we have Dainty, Charming, and girly. Oops. On the wrong finger there. So there's those three. Dainty, charming, and girly. Dainty is a nice brow bone highlight, um, just kind of a creamy color. Charming is a nice chocolate brown, and girly is kind of like Max Blue Brown Pigment, but it has more green to it. So pretty. I swatched these earlier and then a loud truck was outside, so I'm refilming this, so that's why that's there. Okay, and then next we have Totally Fetch, which is my favorite shadow from the palette. And I did use Totally Fetch in my look today. It's just, oh my gosh, the prettiest hot pink. It's amazing. So pretty. It's got like a duochrome to it. And then Miss Sparkles, I barely touched that. It's a black with like silvery glitter. Maybe, I can't tell if it's maybe some blue glitter in it. I can't really tell, but it's amazing. I have a blog post too on this palette, so you can go for up close swatches, um, looks at what the palette actually looks like, the packaging, all that kind of stuff. So I'll link that in the down bar. Next we have Ringleader, Gangsta, and Instigator. Oh, so, so amazing. Oh. So Ringleader is right there. It's like a peachy, pinky kind of a uh, has a sheen to it, but it's not glittery. And then Gangsta is a nice, like, bronzy kind of a color. And then Instigator is this amazing antique kind of looking gold. So pretty. And then we have Bad A. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty Bad A. It's a really pretty blue with shimmers in it. And then the most amazing silver in your life is Jailbird. It's got so much pigmentation to it. And I am wearing Jailbird, Jailbird, Bird, 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 Jailbird on my lower lash line. So that is part of this look. So yeah, um, I love this palette. That's my review. I think it's amazing. You get a lot of product. You get 15 grams of product with this palette. That's why I picked it because there were other palettes that weren't as good of a value. So I landed on this one. It is it is pricey. It's $46. Um, but I really think it's awesome. I've been playing with it and loving it for the last week since I've had it. So I think it's awesome. If you want to see this look, it's it's like a hot pink look with kind of a, um, a sheen to the lid and then a little pop of silver on the lower lash line. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, we're going to first start out with our NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and just apply that to your lids and along your lower lash line. This helps your eyeshadow stay all day. Then take your MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is just a great eyeshadow base. I like to apply this just to cover up any redness or discoloration on my lids. Next, we're going to take this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink. It's just a really pretty, um, shiny sort of a pink, and we're going to apply that to our lids as our base. And now we're going to take this Ben Nye Shadow in Honey. I love using this as a transition color. So as you can see, I'm applying this just above my crease, and I'm using a blending brush. This is a MAC 217 and I just rock it back and forth, back and forth to build up that color. 
Okay, next we're going to take this Ben Nye shadow in Spice and use a blending brush for this as well. I love taking these kind of warmer toned browns as a transition color as well because it helps really deepen up that area and give a lot more dimension to the look. Now we're going to go into our Pretty Rebel palette with Totally Fetch, love this name, and use some kind of a small brush. This is just an artist brush, it's not even technically a makeup brush, and just really build up that color in the outer corner and then start on the inner corner of your eye as well. Leave the middle of your lid empty. Don't put any kind of color on there yet. And then I'm kind of softly connecting those two sections together in my crease area. Now we're doing the other eye here. I really wanted to show you how I'm building up this color and how I'm connecting it, but how I'm also leaving the middle of the lid with no color yet. Now we're going to go in with Charming on that same brush and we're going to deepen up our outer corner. I really feel like this gives the look a lot more dimension than if you would just leave it pink. It really gives a lot more to the look. Now take some of Charming on some kind of a flat brush or a small brush of some kind and apply a little bit of that to the lower lash line. Don't go too far over. Now we're going to take some Ringleader on a flat shader brush of some kind and we're going to apply that to the middle part of our lid. And you can see I'm concentrating the color right on the center of my lid and then I'm just kind of blending it into those other sections of color. And when you first load your brush with that color, you really want to concentrate it right on the center of your lid because you want the most intense color to be right there. Okay, now take a little bit of Jailbird on some kind of a flat shader brush and apply that to your lower lash line, concentrating it on the inner corner of your eye. Now we're going to take Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. And we're going to apply this to our lower lash line and into our waterline. And also apply it along your upper lash line as your eyeliner. And then I'm going to take an angled brush and really just kind of um, diffuse that color a little bit and smudge it out just a tad with that brush. It really helps kind of blend everything together and make it a little bit smoother. Same on your lower lash line. Now we're going to take some of Dainty on another shader brush. We're going to apply this as our brow bone highlight. And I love this color because it's matte, which is great for these kind of really shimmery involved looks. Matte brow bone highlights work really well. Now just curl your lashes. And apply your favorite mascara. First I'm using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, my Holy Grail mascara. And then I'm going in with my Jordana Best Volume Extreme Voluminizing Mascara for a little bit more drama. And yeah guys, this is the finished look. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please stay tuned to find out what I used on the rest of my face. Okay guys, so I'm back to tell you what I used on the rest of my face. Uh, for my foundation, I did my basic foundation routine. I have a video on that, so I can link it in the down bar for you if you want to see everything I have like on my skin. Um, as far as my cheeks, I'm wearing the Jordana blush in Rose Silk. It's just a pretty... My fingers are dyed from doing swatches earlier, but... It's just a really pretty, basic, everyday pink. It's beautiful. I love it. And 250. Yes. Yes. And then for my lips, I have Revlon's Matte Lipstick in Pink Pout. So pretty. Um, this is a dupe for Max Snob. I have a dupes video coming up at some point soon. So there's that. And then over that, I have a NYX Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. So yummy. Smells good, looks good, love them. They're awesome. So there's that. Yeah. So that is the look, guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I highly recommend the Too Faced, Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette. I've really been enjoying it. I would love to hear what kind of looks you've made out of the palette. What kind of things are you putting together? Which of the colors? So I'd love to hear that in the, in the comments section. Please thumbs up this video if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!